All right, hey guys, so um, this is about, um, just about, oh, what happened? Um, this is framework for OMG money um, around funding innovations or like new, just new stuff, funding new um, things. So this is, um, I have a set of symbols from the book that I wrote, Methodology to Teach Accounting and Finance, Easy, <laughs> Easy Accounting and Finance Introduction. And I'm gonna use some of those to present this framework to see whether it would be of use um, this is a new one. I just kind of like made it up, uh, well, at least wrote it down earlier. And so this is the cash symbol. It's supposed to be a 3D coin. Um, and so I'm going to introduce you to a few of the players of the um, game, I guess. So this is our, um, the recipient of our gift. So this is the customer. Um, and they might be paying customers or not, but they benefit from the value of our solutions. Um, and then these two folks here, this is an equity investor, um, and this is a debt investor. Um, a little layer of nuance is that um, I also classify grant makers as a customer because they, um, let's separate it just kind of distinguish between a grant maker who is after impact um, and a customer who is using the good or service or the value um, that we're providing of our s solution takes <laughs> rides in a vehicle and so that's that so they use the the thing um, that we're making um, and these guys don't use it, but they get super happy when these guys use it and when there's just value that comes out of that. So they're happy, um, but they have financial resource. These folks have financial resource and they want it in exchange for a share. And these folks, um, <laughs> sorry, that's like a little coin, um, have financial resource and they just want to be paid back with a little bit more. Um, and with lower risk and these folks a lot more, um, hopefully, but they know that they can get like, oh, this, I'm in an awkward situation now, nothing. So um, these folks, what they want in return is just for these folks to be happy. Um, so this is kind of a simplistic, but um, way of looking at it, uh, but it'll work for now. Um, and then we have our workers, so the teams. Um, I have two notations here, but they're they're a little bit maybe early for this stage. But so maybe we can just talk about um, this person is just simply the worker. So literally putting their breath and time and energy into coming up with the value, the solution. Um, and this simply means that it there is a formal entity, and this is. Um, an employee of that formal entity. So we might just kind of put that aside for now. So these are our teams, basically. And the teams are kind of like, I don't know, I haven't made a symbol for teams yet. So if you want to, um, to make it connected to the notion of worker, open to ideas and stuff. So given this cast of characters, um, and we're looking at funding um, for innovations, I'm going to introduce everybody loves a matrix or at least two axes so this one is the um for the x-axis um and how these folks feel and i'll just add that so they've got they've got the financial resource how these folks feel about money so um and funding new things um specifically so they're like money i'm nervous -er about it then you take it all the way to the other end and they're like money yeehaw so in um as you can probably tell it's the risk profile um and whether they've been doing this a lot um or not and then here on 
the y-axis is um, the teams and their solutions. Um, and so I'll just characterize it by, um, it's simple, let me tell you. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, the path is relatively clear as to how they're going to test this out, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then you go all the way up to the top and they're like, ah, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's kind of complicated. Er, mm, er. Now bear in mind, um, our teams um, might get it themselves and we might get it ourselves in the community, but their target, well, their audience, the audience of their talk and whatever format it comes are these folks. So they, in my experience, they just don't speak the same language, especially, um, well, I'm, I'm looking at the context of climate innovations, for example, um, and then just speaking um, money. Um, so that's very simplistic, but th there we have it. We've got, um, we've got our, that, <laughs> that came from a mug. I'm just using what I have to hand. Um, so that's our axis. So you've got the folks who have the thing that is needed to join the team. And then I've got a few, um, I've got a few pieces here. And so I'll just jump right into it and then do a first plot. So for the folks, and I've, and this is what I've seen um, in my experience at Climate Kick, for the folks who have, um, who have money, and this is a grant making, it's a grant manager, um, it was government funded. Um, the idea is uh, to use cups. So when, when I talk about cash, when we talk about cash and we talk about money, it's liquid or well, it's water, right? So it's just, sorry, those are supposed to be H2O. This is not very well drawn, but anyway. <laughs> so it's water and it's liquid. So I've used containers and this is a little cup. Um, and so for um, something that's simple where um, funders are more nervous, um, it's good to have a little cup of liquidity and then maybe as they get less nervous um you can you know do another little cup um and then as you know they're starting to experience it could be like a bigger glass um that kind of thing and then um for the folks for the investors who are a little more risk um they have higher risk appetite um for something that's more straightforward in this world um, that's not so complicated to explain or has less complexity involved in the solution itself, um, maybe it's a bucket, but it's definitely something rigid. So these are these are just pieces. I've put them here arbitrarily, um, but it might be helpful in sort of conversations. And then here's where... Um, here's where... Um, it's getting the solution itself is complex to communicate to the folks with funding, especially if it's something new. Um, Cause if it's too easy, if it's un really easy to understand, um, like I used to say at Climate Kick, we might not be doing, oh, I can't refer to that. Or we might not be doing um, something that's fun and new. Um, if, the, if everyone could understand us. So that's kind of like a sign of, okay, this is cool. We're doing something good here. Um, but this piece is a cup, but like a pretend one. So it's drawn onto a, like a card or playing card or piece of paper. So this is, this can represent like digital or analog things. Um, so this is where it might be a game or an exercise of using um, a D app or cryptocurrency or a token or like literal figures like we could take little figures and then just use that to test um, sort of early stage things out for the more nervous folks. Um, but these nervous folks would have to be well versed in the digital um, if you're going to use crypto, for example, because then otherwise you have another layer of complexity um, from their perspective to to explain. So um, it all comes down to, I guess, in this sense, for the teams, for our community, um, these folks are a customer of our story, let's say. Um, and then finally, and this is my favorite space to play, so I know... Um, I mean, I say that, but I forget, but I might know more folks in this space 
um, in that space, maybe in that space, um, fewer here um, who I can introduce folks to potentially, but where I'm playing is in the space of, um, is really emergent, it's really like fun and new, um, and the the money that I'm trying to raise for a pool or pot or fund um, format structurally to be um, determined is <laughs> flexible. It's a bladder. I know it looks like a pear that's got like fairies in it that are kicking. I don't know. Um, that has like a little spout. So there is this just one fat pot of money that um, it's not even a pot. I just said it's a bladder. Um, that can be dispensed as and when um, it's needed. And then when it's run out, then it's, there's no more, <laughs> there's no more hydration to provide. But this requires full, um, well, it's not just um, a high risk appetite, it's really trust. And it's full trust in the worker, um, it's themselves and the teams, um, and the uh, just the whole community um, surrounding the so it yeah let's just make it a sun just be well okay <laughs> anywho um, so this is where um, I'm playing with the steamship group where we've been playing in um, love is unlimited is really that trust in um, trust in the actual human. Um, <clears throat> And groups of humans working on the particular thing and um as i mentioned is hashtag pay the people um so not paying the people is like having like uh, a business built on quantum computers and then not spending money on maintaining and developing the computers or like you know getting and cleaning the data sets to um to feed into the models and stuff so hashtag pay the people and so this is just it's flexible it's real money um in this case in the place that i that i'm playing um but it could be digital as well inside so i could just take this beauty of little pieces it could be like um cash or um not cash fiat whatever it might be um or it could be pure energy it could be somebody's time um, so all of this can be framed as well as like, um, payments in kind, but that would be kind of like the next step. So that's, that's that. So to sum up, um, the two, um, simple dimensions that capture a world of information is, uh, just, the uh, the funders or the customer's comfort level with parting with their money and the teams to which they part them. Um, and then, from the perspective, well, I guess with the worker being the the teams, um, being the storytellers, the accountants, storytellers, um, and the uh, funders uh, being the audience, um, how well can they convey um, this, their idea, the solution, the thing that needs to be tested moving forward, and um, I think there would be, I think there's a, there's a caveat coming up or a couple of points to note. Um, one is you might, you are still talking to people here, um, and the different conversations, um, just be mindful of how, um, homogenous the group is. For example, do you say homogenous or homogeneous? Or um, how diverse they are. This is clearly a very badly drawn pie chart. Um, and then taking into account that that effectively puts you kind of higher here if you've got a more diverse group of um, money holders who, who want to do good. They really, really do. Um, so I've, I, I know really good hearted folks. Um, I know people who are, uh, I guess, less focused, but the world is moving towards integrating, as you all know, uh, like impact investing and stuff like that. So um, that I think.
think is it. And so I'll just leave you with the picture of um, a previous version, my outtake of a uh, digital currency. So I ended up going with this, but then um, I tried to do a pixelated gather space type thing and I couldn't do it. Uh, forgive the voice, I'm just hosting a cold virus um, in my like body system resort. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of this uh, sort of framework and concept and whether you might think it's something worth, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> How do you feel?